All right, so today I'm going to talk about physical aches and pains in recovery. Lucy wrote in and she said, after over-exercising for many years, I didn't feel much pain. Now, literally, I ache all over the whole time. It's like my bones and muscles physically hurt. I don't know if this is going to sound bizarre, but generally my body just feels so wrong. My brother caught me Googling ME, which he rightly said, you don't have an ME, you have an eating disorder, stupid. Well, your brother is bang on. Right, so... Like, if you think about, say, an animal needs to migrate, right? So, there's a bird, and it's in the UK, and uh, it's getting into winter, and sorry, I've got something in my throat. <laughs> so, you've got this little bird, it's called him Billy, and the food supply is starting to get low, and so Billy's not being able to find a, there's not enough worms, I don't know, what do birds eat? Worms and stuff. And there's not many worms, because the ground's getting frozen, and Billy can't get at the worms, and so... It's not like Billy just sits there and goes like, oh, you know what, what should I do? I'm going to Google how, where are worms. And it's not like Billy gets a map and then goes, oh, there were worms in Australia at this time of year because it's summer over there. So therefore, I'm going to fly to Australia. No, because Billy doesn't have Google because he's a bird. And so Billy doesn't really think about this very much. What happens is just Billy just suddenly just like wakes up one day and is like, I've got to fly, I've got to fly. And I've got to fly that direction. And he just wants to go. That's because this is, this is the migration response. Like that's not something that animals have an executive decision-making capacity to do. It's not like they, they like, you know, like, hmm, Australia sounds nice this time of year. I think I'll go there. They just know that they just want to get up and fly, right? And so you've got Billy and he started his trek to Australia. And that's quite a long way, as far as I know. And um, <laughs> just actually trying to think about how far that is. That is a long way, isn't it? Anyway, so Billy, Billy's like genes are telling him to fly to Australia because he's gone into energy deficit, which indicates there's not enough food in the current environment. And that's probably quite tiring, wouldn't you imagine, to fly away to Australia? So Billy's body can't let Billy know that he's tired because he can't get halfway there and he's in the middle of the ocean and just suddenly be like, oh, I need a nap. Because what, what are you going to do? <laughs> He's in the middle of the ocean. So for the process of migration, wouldn't you think it would be massively intelligent of the brain to kind of like shut down the feedback that the body's giving the brain about how tired you are? That would be really smart, wouldn't it? That would serve migration. And I believe that that happens to many of us who have an exercise compulsion element to our eating disorders. So... I ran every day, hours, stupidly, never took a day off for about six years. And I mean, the biggest, the biggest thing I felt when I was running the whole time was totally and utterly bored. I know I sometimes had days when my foot hurt or something stupid like that, but it, it was not the primary thing that I remember all the time, you know? I remember being really, 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 really bored of running. I don't remember feeling particularly tired or having many aches and pains, but guess what happened when I started to properly eat more food and rest? I felt like I had been hit by a truck. Like, I'm not kidding. I felt awful. I felt exhausted. Everything hurt. And that's because I think when I started to eat more, in the same way when Billy lands in Australia and he starts to eat more, then his brain goes, oh, we must have done with migrating now. Time to release the pain. <laughs> it's not like Billy hadn't been tired the whole time he'd been flying. He had. He just couldn't feel it. His brain was protecting him from that. In the same way, it's not like my body had not been tired the whole time I was running every day. It had. I just couldn't feel it. And then when my body was like, aha, we've arrived. No more need to migrate. It's like, oh, we may as well allow her to feel how she's really feeling now. And that sucked. But in a way, it was kind of good as well because I really didn't feel like doing anything. All I actually wanted to do was sit on the couch and eat. And so that's what I did. Um, so in a way, although it's shitty to feel like that, to feel not very good, um, it served a purpose for me. I just kind of was like, all right then. I'm just, I hurt too much to do anything too much. You know, and that didn't go on forever. That, that went on for weeks, for sure, but maybe months. But it, it was not like it, I hurt forever. I did start to get a point where I already started to feel better. And that's the danger point, actually, because then, you know, my eating disorder, I wasn't better then. Body started to feel physically better, and my brain was like, right, 
there's time to go exercising again. You don't have any excuses not to exercise now because you feel okay. That's the bit that you have to work out for. And that's the bit where you have to be like, nope, nope, I'm not going to go back to exercise. I'm going to continue to rest because it can be deceptive Um, because your eating disorder is still active in your brain even after your body physically has started to recover a little bit. So anyway, Lucy, physical aches and pains, totally normal. Deal with it. Your body's been through a lot. <laughs> it, it has every right to hurt quite a lot. <laughs> and your brother's right. You don't have an ME. You have an eating disorder. And the best thing that you can do is rest and eat and rest and eat. And your body, because it's amazing, will heal, heal itself. The best thing you need to do is to stay out of its way, though. And... Just give it the fuel that it needs and give it the rest that it needs. Hope that helps.